Hello everybody, this is Daryl, the AutoCool guy, and today we're going to take a look at the AutoCool 200 newly developed controller with a target market of diesel motorhomes, diesel semi-trucks, anything diesel that has a big cooling requirement. This controller is rated at 200 amps and it's fused at 250 amps. The way this and the other controllers work, it uh, monitors the outflow temperature of the radiator and then sets the fan RPM to control the set temperature that you have on the black knob. The range is approximately 140 to 180 degrees. This is basically what they call a closed loop system. Uh, with the auto cone controllers, you don't want to put the sensor on the engine outflow temperature because what will happen is the fans will be running at high RPM all the time. Uh, this and the other controllers that from the AutoCool guy are guaranteed for one year parts labor exchange. This is true pulse width modulation for radiator temperature control to save energy and horsepower. The, um, the, ele the electronics in this controller has what's called soft start and it limits the inrush current uh, getting your fan motor started. Uh, if you've been using relays, you notice that when the relay closes to start the fan motor, you have huge inrush currents. And for those of you who have, have voltmeters, you see the voltage may go down to like 10 or 11 volts. Uh, with this, uh, you'll uh, find that the voltage will remain pretty constant. When you start the controller, let's say you start the contro controller cold, the engine's cold, What's going to happen is the fan does not start immediately. What happens when the radiator temperature starts to warm up, the fan will start turning, or fans will start turning very slowly and gain RPM as the radiator starts to warm up. And then the fan will lock into the RPM to control the temperature at the set point. The uh, controller has what's called fail safe, so if you tie the fail safe pin six to ground with a switch on the dash it'll put the fans into high rpm if you think you have a cooling problem this um, controller like all the other controllers is basically your electronic fan clutch system the uh, bolts you see here these are quarter twenty bolts uh, made of brass so you're not going to have any corrosion or rust the uh, AC, uh, if you have AC in your vehicle, you can preset the fan RPM to control your fan RPM. Now, you can set that from, from like no RPM to a full RPM if you want. Um, if you set the fan RPM, let's say at 25% RPM, the temperature control will override the fan RPM. The potentiometer for the fan RPM is located right right under the this this point here in the side. This controller will use any of the autocool sensors that we have in our store. And this controller will power one or more fans up to 200 amps. The uh, controller this controller has the jumper internal jumper between fan A and B. So you don't have to worry about that. The uh, controller is made from quarter, uh, eighth inch aluminum plate top and bottom and the uh, top is powder coated for a long life and you notice that the pins are clearly marked so years later you can take it off one vehicle and put it on another and you'll be able to figure out the, the pin out. The controller weighs 2.4 pounds and the dimensions are eight by five and a half inches and it's 2.4 inches tall not including the knob so there you have it autocool 200 for diesel engines thanks for listening guys bye